Hello, I just wanted to take a few minutes. Good morning from the road. Hey, you know, it's a, it's a rainy morning, so you'll probably hear the windshield wipers and everything, and it's probably not the best sound, but I just really wanted to make this video real quick while it was on my mind. I just wanted to do a reaction uh, video um, for the Breakfast Club, um, Dr. Claude Anderson's um, interview this morning. I tell you what, I thank God for Dr. Claude Anderson. The reality of it is, is, you know, in our community, in our country, you know, for black America, he is somebody who quite literally, when he talks, you have to stop and listen. You got it. I mean, you just have to. I mean, you have to stop and listen. He is, he is an elder that we have very few of and we have to give the utmost respect for elders such as Dr. Claude Anderson that have so much, so much, so much valuable knowledge and wisdom and information that is, 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 you know, in this day of information and access to information, you know, those like Dr. Claude Anderson have information that you cannot readily find, that you cannot readily find nearly anywhere. You know, in five minutes of conversation, he'll he'll give you information that will take you five years to, to track down and locate. And you have to you have to you know digest it. You have to listen. He is the type of person. He is the type of man that when he talks. You got to listen, not to rebut. Matter of fact, you know, even as one of our elders, only thing you say to him is asking questions. You don't, you don't seek to educate him. Even if you don't agree with what he's saying, you don't seek to educate him unless he asks you for it. You know, much like my father, you know, and men like this are... You know, you know, elders like this, men and women like this are very few and far between in the black community or any community. Our elders are really not not available and we need to appreciate that. But in our black community, we have to really, 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 really uplift and, you know, the you know, talk about giving them their roses, give them their roses, give them their Give them their 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 hand claps. Give them their their hugs. Give them their kisses now, while we still have them, and digest all of the wisdom that they have to give us. I thank God for Dr. Claude Anderson. I really do. Um, you know, the interview that he did um, on the Breakfast Club is just like the rest of his interviews. Dynamic, dynamic. You know, you always learn way more than you thought you could even try to learn just from, you know, a 30, 40 minute, an hour, you know, of listening to him. You know, you walk away changed and transformed. And I just, you know, had to, you know, give a shout out real quick. You know, thank God for Dr. Claude Anderson. And we need to take what he says and we need to apply it. We need to apply it. We have a lot of work to do. And in order for us to, 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 eradicate systemic racism you know he's given us the playbook you know he's a voice that we have to listen to he's you know we have to you know create and generate more voices you know that are speaking toward the issues to eradicate systemic racism this is this is the this is the job and this is the this is the mandate so god bless dr claude anderson god bless you talk to you later